It's your extraordinary social media manager, Elizabeth Hall, here with you today. And I want to show you how to make sure that you don't miss the most important thing that needs to be done on Pinterest, and that's to link your pin back to your website. I'm going to show you two ways that you can do this, and it'll be really quick. I always say it's going to be really quick, and I do try to make it quick. So the first um, thing is um, if you have a pen, and I use um, Photoshop, Adobe Elements, um, Photoshop to do my pens and I actually put together some a template that I use for some tips and this is the template and the only thing I have to change here is actually just the tip so um, that's a tip for you if you have a template you can actually quickly put together your own images which is best of course you can use anybody's images but if you use yours it's always best and then I saved this as a PNG and made it a small file size. And then we're going to go, all right, we'll go to Pinterest here. And if you can see, this is my newsfeed. I've already put two of these tips in. I actually have more than two, but tonight I did two tips. And you can see that I have the website here, but it's not linkable, of course. And then there's nothing here at the bottom where you can that links back to the website but if you actually go into into here you'll see that it says found on smart office help and I actually have this linked I actually have this linked to go to a landing page that I made and here's the landing page so you can do this also and the first thing we're going to do is here, this is the home page. Actually, this is the feed on Pinterest, but it'll show up on any of your pages. You'll see this little plus here. If you hit the plus, there's a couple of ways that you can upload images. And today we're going to upload the pen from the computer. So we'll hit upload and then we choose the image. All right. And since I've been in this folder already, the, the folder automatically comes up. And we're going to choose this tip right here and open. And it comes right up. So the first thing that we want to do to this pen is we want to give it a description. And I'm going to put social media tips. Okay. And so I added on, I put a couple of hashtags in here because this is searchable. So if anybody puts those hashtags in to search, um, this will come up within that search. So we have the tip is actually to include a call of action on every piece of content. And here you can select if you want it to go to Facebook or you want it to go to your Twitter account. I'm going to have mine to go to the Twitter account. And um, I actually want it to go to this board, but you need to select the board that you want. And I have several boards here, but this is the correct board that I want it to go to, social media tips. So we'll say pin. And I'm going to say see it now. You have to select that see it now button really quickly or it kind of disappears. You can still get back to it, but um, it'll still disappear. So here we have the pin and here it says upload it to Pinterest. Right now, this goes nowhere. So here where you see the little pencil, hit the pencil. And this is where you're going to put the source, which is the website or the link that you want. And this one. All right, that's my opt-in page that I wanted to go to. Now, I, if you click on here, you'll see that it goes to my opt-in page. So that's one way that you can link your pin to your website. The next one I'll show you, I'm going to go to actual blog post that I have here, and I want to link this. Now, I actually have uh, the pin it button or extension here from Chrome on my computer. So if you don't, um, I would suggest that you do or have some way that people can pin your pins. Now also on my website, I have a plugin where if, if you just hover over, it'll give you the option to pin. So let's click that. So if someone else comes here, they can pin and it comes straight up. And we want this to go to, I'm going to change this to go to my social media strategies and it really has everything that I need there as the title of a blog post but I'm going to add some hashtags
and I want this to go to just my Twitter account and I will say pin. Now in this case, let's look, we're going to go to see it now. And if you look here, it automatically picks up the link so you don't have to go there. And I actually um, requested to have rich pins on my on my account so it'll give a little bit more information than just a regular pin and that'll be I'll give you information on the rich pins on a different video so that's the two ways that you can actually link your pin to your website one is to upload your pin and then add the link to it or go to your website and then pin the actual image from your website and it'll automatically bring in the link so that's it for today if you found this to be helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, please make sure that you subscribe to future videos and updates so you can get more tips on social media related, related tools and resources that you can use. Now go out and grow your business using social media. Have a great day. Additional social media tutorials are being posted weekly. Subscribe for future updates so you don't miss out. You can also check out past videos. I encourage you to share them with your friends, followers, and fans.